Hi friends, this is Lakshma. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's session, I am going to share you the most asked Selenium web driver entry questions and answers for freshers as well as experienced candidate. So these are the questions, very most common Selenium web driver entry questions. So please watch till the end, then you can get you can clear the your technical interview. Okay. So without wasting our time, let's start. The first entry question is. What are the benefits of uh, automation testing? There are a lot of uh, uh, benefits are there for, for using automation software testing. The first one is reusability of uh, test cases. You need to prepare automation test, test cases only one time. Then you can use same test cases for all upcoming version release of software application. However, you need to modify your test cases if there is any flow change of business logic changes in software, but it is less time consuming. The next benefit is testing cost reduction. You have to put human efforts only one time to automate your software test testing process. Later on, automation tool will work for you at place of human resources. The next benefit is fast test execution. Manual software testing process is time consuming. Automation tests are faster and it takes less time to execute test compared to manual test execution. The next benefit is better test coverage in each version release. You have to implement test scenarios only once in your automation test cases. Later on, you can execute the same test cases in all upcoming releases. So each scenario will be tested in every version release. The next benefit is it is easy for compatibility testing. So it is easy to run same test in combination of a different operating system and browser environment using automation tool. So these are the main benefits of using automation testing. The next question is, does Selenium WebDriver supports record and playback feature? The answer is no. Selenium WebDriver does not support any record and playback feature. But you can record your test in one of the Selenium version called Selenium IDE. And then you can export your recorded test in the WebDriver compatible format as per your preferred language. Okay, so if you are using uh, uh, C-sharp or Python, you can export on your preferred language. The next question is, why do you choose Selenium WebDriver as an automation tool? The answer is, there are number of reasons are there to choose Selenium WebDriver for automation testing tool in our project. The first one is, it is a open source tool. You can use any version of Selenium in free of charge. And it supports multi-browser support and it also supports multi-operating systems, okay. And it provides a lot of locators to find the web elements. If you, one is not working, you can use any other type of locator, okay. And it is extensible and also it is flexible and it also supports to integrate any third party tool easily. And it supports continuous support from Selenium community uh, to improve API and uh, resolve current issues. So these are the main reasons to choose Selenium automation tool. The next question is, can you write the piece of code to open or launch Chrome browser in Selenium WebDriver? Okay, so the answer is we can open new Chrome browser by using the following syntax. So you have to write system dot set property and you have to pass the parameter as web driver dot chrome dot driver and you have to uh, mention here you have to mention here like uh, where you have uh, installed chrome driver execution file that look that uh, location path you have to mention here. And then next statement, you have to create the object for 
chrome driver by using web driver web driver driver equal to new chrome driver okay so by using this statement we are going to launch the new chrome browser in our serene web driver the next question is what is xpath and why we use in selenium web driver the answer is in selenium web driver software testing tool xpath is used to locate the elements so using xpath we can navigate through elements and attributes in an xml document so there are number of web page elements are there like buttons text box links image etc okay so to navigate those elements we are using xpath the next question is what is difference between absolute xpath and relative xpath absolute xpath is the full path starting from root node and ends with desired element node so it will start using single forward slash you can see here example for absolute path so it will start with a single slash html so it will start from root node okay up to destination folder here is the destination destination for last input is the okay then what about a relative path so instead of starting from root node relative x path starts from any in between node or current elements node so it will start using double forward slash so you see here in example double slash input i am giving id locator okay and check box okay so you can find the locate uh, find the element from the current element node okay so that is the main difference between absolute x path and a relative x path the next question is when selenium server required to run your test in selenium web driver you need selenium server with web driver when you have to perform these given operation with selenium web driver the first one is so whenever you are using remote or virtual machine to run web driver test for software web, web application and that machine have specific browser version that is not on your current machine so for that situation you have to use selenium server and one more scenario when you are using selenium grid to distribute your web driver test execution on different remote or virtual machines by that situation we must use selenium server the next question is why no such element exceptions are raised can you tell me few reasons the answer is you will get this exception when web driver is not able to locate element on the page of software web application okay using whatever locator you have used in your test so to resolve this issue first of all you need to check that where you placed implicit wait code in my test or not if you are not placed implicit timeout in your test and any element is taking some time to appear on page then you can get this exception the next question is what is difference between driver.get method and driver.navigate method driver.get method is generally used for open url of software web application and it will wait till the whole page gets loaded whereas driver.navigate method is generally used for navigate to url of software web application navigate back navigate forward and refresh the page and it will just navigate to the page but wait not till the whole page gets loaded that means it doesn't wait the uh, till the whole page get loading okay it going to find the element without loading the whole page that is the main difference between get and navigate method whereas get method will wait till the whole page gets loaded okay the next question is can you write the piece of code to type a value in prompt dialog box in the selenium web driver here prompt dialog box dialog box means just like a confirmation alert dialog okay 
So to give input value in the text box of prompt dialog box, you have to use this syntax driver dot switch to dot alert dot send keys following whatever the values string values you have to pass in the text box. You have to here I am passing lucky. Okay. The next question is I want search some words in, in Google without clicking on Google search button. Is it possible in a web driver? The answer is yes, we can do it using web driver send keys method where we do not need to use Google search button. So the syntax is like this driver dot find element by dot x path and we are passing here input id some id and send keys and within the string within double quotation we are just passing learn programming by lucky sir and comma keys enter so in this above syntax it will first enter learn programming by lucky sir text in the text box and then it will press enter key on the same text box to search for the words on google okay the next question is what is difference between driver dot close and driver dot quit driver dot close is used to close the current web driver instance so that means we can use close method to close the whatever the current open web page whereas driver dot quit method is used if there are opened multiple web driver instances and wants to close all of them then we can use driver dot then we can use quit method okay the next question is how to generate alert by executing javascript in selenium so to generate alert you can write the uh, code in your script like javascript executor javascript equal to javascript executor driver so and then you have to execute javascript dot execute script okay so you have to write like these statements okay the next question is can you write a piece of code to read alert message string yes sir. you can uh, read the alert message string by using this syntax see here string message equal to driver dot switch to dot alert get text by using get text we can read the alert message okay the next question is can you write syntax to click alert ok button and cancel button yes we can do that uh, you can see here there are two syntax are there for ok to click the ok button and cancel button driver dot switch to dot alert dot accept method so accept method used to click on ok button of alert whereas dismiss method is used to click on cancel button of alert the next question is tell me where we cannot automate in selenium there are number of uh, scenarios are there where we cannot automate uh, web uh, web application by using selenium web driver so automating a captcha is not possible and one more scenario bitmap comparison is not possible using selenium web driver software testing tool and also one more scenario we cannot read barcode using selenium web driver software what are the advantages of test ng over j unit there are number of advantages are there by using test ng over j unit First one is test cases can be grouped and prioritized more easily and test ng annotations are easy to understand and parallel testing is possible and easy to run software automation test cases in parallel and it gives HTML, it produces the HTML report for execution. Okay, so there are number of advantages are there over JUnit. The next question is what is the use of testng.xml file we are using testng.xml file to configure our whole test suite in a single file so there are number of use are there uh, testng.xml file the first one is we can define software testing test suite using set of test cases to run them from single place 
and can specify a group of can specify a group to include or exclude and we can pass parameters to use in test case of software web application and we can also define listeners in the test ng xml file and we can also configure parallel test execution for software web application okay and we can specify group dependencies as well so number of users are there by using test ng xml file the next question is can you arrange test ng dot xml file from parent to child so they will uh, give this scenario in interview so we have to write a parent to child the first one is a shoot and then test and then classes and then methods okay the next question is what is difference between find element and the find elements find element is useful to locate and run single element from page of software web application while find elements is useful to locate and run multiple elements from software web page the next question is how to take screenshot in selenium web driver so by using take screenshot function and get screenshot as method we can take the screenshot in selenium web driver so you can see here syntax file source file equal to take screenshot okay and then by using method get screenshot as method we are taking the screenshot and we are passing the type of file output output format will be here output type okay so these are the most asked selenium web driver entry questions okay so i will upload more and more videos on entry questions so please follow our youtube channel so thank you for watching